Okay, guys, hello, welcome to the channel, Chris 2.0, coming in here. Um, today, I'm going to be showing you how to get rid of the lag on any of your gaming laptops. You know, could be any of the, of the MSI series, ASUS series. I have a MSI, have an ASUS, and both worked by doing this method. Um, this right here is my primary laptop display, so you have an extended display plugged into your port. And you go to sec use second monitor only or duplicate your display, whatever you do. And the second monitor has some lag in it. And you don't want that because that 10 milliseconds of lag is life and death. And say Call of Duty, Sniper Elite, all them games. And so the very first practice is to go down here to your power options. Click. I don't know my mind's minimized. Uh, go to high performance or show additional plan of gaming power saver. Make sure that's on high performance. That's what you want right there. And with that, I still had some lag in the secondary display, but this is what I did to fix it. Very first thing you want to do is go down here to the search bar, go to device manager. Now, when you're under Device Manager, you want to go to Display Adapters. You're going to see Intel and NVIDIA GeForce GTX. That's the graphics card in the laptop. That is the graphics card that the second monitor is running on. Now, for whatever reason, you have some game lag. Well, what you want to do... So, this, say this Norton is your laptop display, and Oracle VM is the GTX 1060. Well, that signal displays through this and then ha comes over to your second you want to get rid of that delay now when we go up here to Intel you're going to want to right click and disable it now that is going to make your secondary monitor your primary and you're going to see this in a minute going to disable device yes okay now you're seeing multiple screens we are now on my second monitor which is my HP 27M, just cheapo from Walmart. And now this is going, I'm going to drag this back to my laptop display because my laptop display is now the secondary. And this is your external monitor that you want to game on, you want to get rid of the lag. Well, now this is your primary. So by doing this, you're going to be able to game do anything you want with no lag on this monitor anymore. A very important step though is when you're done playing your game, when you're done editing, wh whatever you do on this monitor, before you shut down your computer, because if you don't do this and you fire up your computer, the screen will be black unless you have your monitor plugged in, which most of the time you will. You will have to go back to graphics and enable when you're done gaming or what have you. And that's going to put the primary display back on your laptop. So say you get done gaming, you unplug your laptop, you go somewhere, you fire it up, and the screen's black. Well, that's because you never enabled this device again. So it's good practice just to enable it. When you're done gaming, I'll enable it here and see what it does. Okay, now I'm looking at my primary and my secondary monitor is now my secondary. This is my HP where you're seeing a lot of this OBS floating around. So now I'm looking at my laptop monitor and now it's back to normal. Say I want to switch back over to the secondary again. All I have to do is disable it. And now... We're back here on my secondary device, and I can drag that to the laptop. So it's as simple as that, guys. Uh, just disable your internal driver, and stuff will run through your external graphics card. Disable any of the lag. Um, thanks for checking out the channel and the video. I hope this helped all of you. Uh, don't forget to leave a like and possibly subscribe for more videos. Thanks, guys.